What's up guys, in this video I'll show you 6 different apps that you can use to root your Android device without a PC. So let's get started. So first we have an app called Framaroot and it supports most of the widely known devices such as Samsung, HTC and others. It's very simple, you have 3 options to choose from, install super SU in other words routing, unroot or execute script which is for advanced users. After selecting install super su, click on the options given below and hopefully one of them will work for you. If not, let's move on to the next app. The next one is called towel root and it supports most of the Samsung devices. It only has one option whereby you click on make it rain and then it will inform you whether routing was successful or not. If your phone reboots it means that towel root failed and uh, your phone is still unrooted. So, check out the next tab. Now we look at Universal Android, which has some more advanced root options. So you can select which super user you want installed or you can select do not install super user. Also it has an option for soft root which is temporary and your device will unroot itself the next time you reboot. After choosing the appropriate settings you can click on go root to root your device or undo root to unroot your device. If this app failed let's move on to the another app. The fourth app is called Kingo Root, which is famous for rooting many devices and having a wide variety of support but through the computer. But now it also has an Android app. So all you have to do is tap on the one click root and it will analyze the device and try rooting it. By the way, it requires an internet connection while rooting and supports most of the Android devices. However, it may not work for your device. The fifth root app it's called Keyroot Master and it's in another language. It's in Chinese so you may not know what to do. So just follow these steps keenly. First click on Mulai Root and it'll scan your device. Even though this app is in Chinese, it supports very many devices and will install Super SU. And that's English. So then it'll show you your device name, operating system and the probability of your device being rooted. You can ignore all those and click on Root. And after that, it will root your device, it will reboot and you will have Super SU installed. However, if this app fails, you can check the final app which supports 99% of the devices. The final root app supports the most number of devices. It's called iRoot and it comes with many other things such as junk, clean, boot accelerate, etc. But don't use any of those cause it will just install many shit apps on your device that you don't really want. So all you have to do is click on root now and it will root your device. Also you need an internet connection while using this app. So you see it will auto update itself and all the stuff but after rooting just uninstall this app. So the app will install a Chinese super user which you can later replace using super su. So let's check the Chinese super user. The Chinese super user actually comes in English even though it's made by the Chinese. So it comes with similar settings as you'll find on super SU such as delete logs, request timeout, unroot, etc. It works well but many online sites claim that it comes with spyware. So if you don't want it just replace it using super SU. So these were all the ways I could find on rooting Android without PC. If none of them worked for you. You can search up your device on XDA forums to get help or just use a computer. That was all for this video, thanks for watching, do smash the like button, leave your suggestions in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for more Android tweaks. Meet you guys in the next video.